Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Tempo League. Today we're talking about drop catch. Okay, so we're going to drop the stick and we're going to catch it. Drop, catch. It's also called push pull. We're gonna push the stick down and we're gonna pull the stick back up. So you start off by letting the stick um, hit and this bottom part of the stick go down. That means the bead's gonna come up. You can't do this unless your fingers are really loose like we've been working on. Okay, everything that we did at the beginning, the free stroke, I mean, I can't say it enough how important it is. If you're holding tight to the stick with your hand, it's impossible for drop catch to happen. Okay, you have to be nice and loose. The stick has to be able to come down. Your fingers are loose so the, they let the stick go through and you're just barely hanging on with your thumb and first finger. And then you use those fingers to pull the, the stick back into the palm. Okay, so again, free strokes, massively important, fingers, massively important, all those modules before, so important. If you haven't done those, go back and do them. All right, so where do we use drop catch the most? The first thing I think of are shuffles. Okay, so, so watch this, watch the hi-hat. Here we go. See how I'm playing? Duh. On the downbeat. And one, and two, and three, and four, and... Right? So, shuffles use drop catch a lot. And you don't have to play it with drop catch. Uh, you could do a shuffle like... That's kind of like a more of a molar flowy thing, but you can, that's one option is to use drop catch for, for shuffles. Um, the other thing I really use drop catch for is if I had a ride here, you'd see, but like a triples or it's da, 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 drop catch, catch, kind of a drop catch, catch thing. Drop, catch, catch. Da, 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 da. We drop it and then the next two are fingers. Da, 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 da. Drop finger plays, but not into the palm. Drop finger and then the third finger is boom into the palm. Hopefully that makes sense. So that would be like uh, Luke Holland had this awesome cover of She's American where he went, he went like. Uh, Or you're like jazz type stuff on the ride. Ding, da, da, ding, ding, da, da, ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's all gonna be drop catch. So how do we practice this? Well, let's go ahead and go to 80 BPM and we're gonna count eighth notes. One and two and three and four and turn that off. And we're just gonna go three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so just playing on eighth notes. One and two and three and four and, we are exaggerating it. One, we're really letting our fingers get down there and pulling it back up. Aiming for the center of the pad. So when you're playing, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be that obvious. It's more subdued, but we need to exaggerate it so that we really get the feel. So again, 80, let's just do this together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three 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 and four and one and two four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one a couple more times Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. 
four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, you probably noticed my left hand's definitely weaker than my right. Um, also, I felt the, the back of the stick hitting my thigh more on my left side than my right. So that's just a matter of paying attention to each hand and are you mirroring each hand exactly? And for me, the answer is no. I mean, it's, it's like a lifelong process to try to get this left hand to cooperate. Um, but make sure you're thinking about those things. I, I do my best, you know, to mirror the two and I get close, but spend the time needed if your left hand is clumsy to figure out why that is, right? And I sometimes hit my thigh with my right as well. It's because we're exaggerating it. The stick's coming down really low. But um, if you need to go even slower, like one and two and three and four and, you know, do that. And just get the feel, pulling that stick, it back into the palm after the drop. Drop, catch, push, pull, so important. Okay, so that's the first exercise. The second one, we're gonna go down to 70 and we're gonna work on that shuffle feel. So, and one and two and three and four. Notice that with, uh, with the straight feel, one and two and the accent was on the, the uh, drop part. Drop, one, and then the catch was the upbeat. One and, see that? When we do the shuffle, it actually flips. So it's and one, right? The catch part is actually the downbeat. So and one and two and three and four 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 and one. Okay. Okay, we're doing that. We could bump it up. That was 70. Let's go up to 100 and see about that. Okay, let's just keep going up. Let's do 120. like the shuffle feel, right? All the way up to 140. My right hand is way better at this because hi-hat, ride, that kind of thing, but do not neglect your left hand. Okay, so you can just keep going up the tempo ladder and you can see as you go faster and faster, it starts to sound more like that shuffle feel. Drop catch is awesome for that. And then, ba, 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 ba. That's another thing you could do. Ba, 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 ba. I'm kind of in French grip there. First stroke and then using the fingers for those other two. Uh, go to 90 or slower and just, Again, stroke, and then the next two with fingers. Ba, 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 ba. All right, that is drop catch. Put in the work, get that motion down, and you will be glad you did. Thanks so much for checking this out. I will see you on the next one.